All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So the third volume of Dokkan now uh, ended about 30 minutes ago and the whole thing was actually about like 40 minutes in total. But in this video, I wanted to give you guys who you know missed the event or missed the video or just don't wanna watch the whole thing, a uh, quick recap of everything that we learned. And honestly, it wasn't like anything too crazy aside from some awakenings and easy A's that we didn't know about, but uh, for the most part, you know, all the information they shared in this uh, program was stuff that we already knew about from the in-game news or, you know, stuff that came out through the data download, which came like three hours before the Dokkan Now dropped, which just makes no sense to me. But you know what? It is what it is. No point in uh, talking about it anymore. So let's jump in here. So first things first, they said the theme of the celebration is obviously Boo Saga, which we know at this point. And the two uh, characters coming for the Dual Dokkan Fest is the LR Boo Tanks, as well as the LR Goku and Vegeta that fuse into uh, Super Vegeta. Boo Tanks, of course, becomes um, LR Boo Han, right? So that's the first thing they talked about. And then they talked about a social media campaign where they wanted people to hashtag Dokkan now. And if there were at least 3,000 posts on Twitter that had this uh, oh let me actually turn on some music why am i why am i not doing that hold on one sec uh let's play the majin vegeta theme that fits i think okay there we go it's a little bit loud okay there we go okay so yeah um yeah if 3000 people posted dokkan now on twitter we would get 60 dragon stones and i think we reached it literally in like I don't know, five minutes. So we're getting 60 stones in our boxes sometime in the near future. It says actually here, rewards will be distributed within 24 hours if the goal is reached before the end of the Dokkan Now special broadcast. So there we go, 60 stones coming guys, okay? If we don't have it in our box right now, it's gonna be there within the next 24 hours. And then after that, let's see. Okay, so they're talking about some co-op events. Of course, there's the uh, escape from the Inners of Boo co-op event, which we know about, as well as um, a new wallpaper, okay, and also launches treasure hunt event, and this is the event that we can clear once a day. I think it's starting in two days from now. Or sorry, not not once a day, once a week. So every single time you clear it, you get 20 dragon stones, and we can clear it once a week for five weeks for a total of 100 dragon stones uh, by doing this event, which is awesome. And uh, after that, they talked about the Saiyan Gluttons event where, where we can farm. Uh, you know, once a day, you can get some small and medium meats as well as the large meat item, which is new. And what else? Okay, there's the new story event, Showdown Ultimate Final Battle with the free-to-play Goku and free-to-play Hercule. Now, we did learn a few new things about these guys, okay? So, the Goku and Hercule um, are both getting awakenings. Goku is awakening into uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Hercule is awakening into Hercule slash Good Boo. And they're both also getting Extreme Z Awakenings. Now we don't have the details for their Awakenings or their EZAs, but what we do know actually is that for this Goku specifically, um, he has a uh, he has this mechanic where if he falls below, I believe, 80% HP, he's actually going to revert to base form. So he's Super Saiyan 3, he reverts to base form, and then if you have a Hercule on rotation, then they do a combined partner attack. So this is a new mechanic we, we talked about. Uh, I want to say like, like two weeks ago, and uh, it seems like this Goku is the first unit to actually make use of this partner super attack mechanic, and that's pretty much all we know at the moment. I don't know what it looks like, I don't know what it's going to do, but that's pretty exciting, right? And uh, beyond that, let's see. Uh, oh, they show some animations for the uh, Goku and Vegeta slash Super Vegito, and also the Boo Tanks slash uh, Boo Han. Uh, I'm not going to play it right now because I'm scared to get this video copyrighted. I mean, it's probably going to get copyrighted anyways, but or um, claimed basically, but it's okay. And uh, there's the arts. So as far as information goes, they're starting with the Goku and Vegeta. And the new category they lead is Battle of Wits. Okay, Battle of Wits. Uh, essentially, it's the trash talk category. It's like characters that trash talk and uh, use you know psychological warfare against their, uh, against their enemies. So that's what that is. And uh, they're also in Majin Buu Saga, Patara, Pure Saiyans. This is huge. This unit is in Pure Saiyans. Join forces, Super Saiyans, Kamehameha, Final Trump Card. Because obviously, you know, all these categories needed 
buffs, right? So I'm glad that they're getting better now. That was sarcasm, by the way. And uh, for their passive, it's attack and defense plus 120%, reduces damage received by 30%, plus an additional key plus one per type key sphere obtained. So when I first read this, I was kind of confused, but then I realized it says type because it's all types, right? All types of key spheres, but not including rainbow key spheres. So that's why it says type key spheres, and then medium chance of launching an additional super attack. And then for their leader skill, it's Battle of Wits, Battle of Wits or Majibu Saga, key plus three. HP plus 130%, attack and defense plus 170%, and uh, super attack effect, the 12 key raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage, and the 18 key raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And uh, super attack animations, not gonna play them, but if you guys wanna go check out my previous video, I did look at all the animations there, so you can you know watch them with me in that video. Um, okay, let's see. What else do we have here? Okay, so when they transform into Vegito, um, so the active skill to transform into Vegito or fuse into Vegito uh, can be activated when HP is 77% or less, starting from the fourth turn from start of battle once only. And the passive, once they transform, or sorry, fuse, why do I keep saying transform? Once they fuse, is recovers 50% HP once only, attack and defense plus 150%, and medium chance of performing a critical hit. Counters with tremendous power upon receiving normal attacks, plus an additional key plus one, her key sphere obtained, key plus five, and foresees enemy super attack for for ten turns from the start of the turn, which is awesome. And super attack effects, twelve key raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and uh, ultra super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. So that's Vegeta right there. Awesome animations. Once again, check out the last video to see them for yourself. Um, and then for Buhan, he leads a new power absorption category. And he also is a Majin Power, Majin Buu Saga, Transformation Boost, Artificial Life Forms, Kamehameha, and Final Trump Card. And uh, his passive is recovers 12% HP. Did I say Buhan? I meant Bootanks. All right, before he transforms, Bootanks. Recovers 12% HP at the start of the turn, attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional key plus one per type key sphere obtained. That's all types without uh, not including rainbow, and medium chance of launching an additional super attack. And then his leader skill is power absorption or Majin power, category key plus four, HP plus 130%, attack and defense plus 170%. Super attack, 12 key raises attack and causes colossal damage, and 18 key raises defense and causes mega colossal damage. And of course, both can be stacked infinitely, right? And there's the super attack animations. And then for his uh, transformation, it can be activated when HP is 50% or more, starting from the fourth turn, from the start of battle, once only. And as far as Buhan's uh, details go, his passive recovers 10% HP at the start of the turn, attack and defense plus 150%, launches an additional attack, that is a medium chance of becoming a super attack, plus an additional key plus one per key sphere obtained, key plus five for five turns from the start of turn, seals the attacked enemy super attack for five turns, once only. Okay, and uh, his uh, 12 key super raises attack for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and his 18 key super raises attack for one turn. Wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, so okay. 12 key is colossal damage, 18 key is mega colossal damage. And I think that is pretty much it, guys. I don't think they said anything else that's important. Thank you for watching, and that's it. Okay, so that is the recap of the third edition, or volume three of Dokkan Now. And uh, like I said, there wasn't too much that we learned that we didn't know from the data download, but if you guys missed the last video, then uh, you should know everything now, aside from you know what the animations look like. But like I said, go watch the last video, because I don't want to get you know, copy striked or, you know, get claimed. I'm probably still going to get claimed, but I want to try to minimize that that risk, you know? So uh, that's it, guys. That is the video. Uh, oh, as far as release time goes for the banners. Okay, so weird thing, right? Weird thing. On DBZ Space, this is the global side. It says it's August 28th at 11.27 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, which is in about an hour from the time that I'm filming this video. And for the JP side, it says 12.45 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time on the 29th, which is about an hour and like 15 minutes after the time it says for global. So there's a chance 
there's a chance that the global banners will drop earlier than the JP banners. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. It would be it would be weird if it did. It just doesn't make sense, but I don't know. That's what it says on DBZ Space, so I'm not really sure what to believe right now, right? But uh, we'll see. We'll see. But anyways, that is today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be live as soon as the banners drop. So either way, um, I'll see you. Okay. But uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for. Uh, being here as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and If it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely Hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it Hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day I'm tiger with tiger with tiger uppercut media Signing out.